I think everybody in this body wants an infrastructure bill. We all want to see better roads and bridges. We want to see more sustainable, resilient communities. Mr. Chairman, this bill, about half of it actually is money for infrastructure, about half. Looking back over the last few years that I've been here, we've been able to work through, we've been able to cut red tape, break log jams. In fact, projects, Mr. Speaker, that date back to before I was born, we've been able to work through all of the obstacles and impediments and get, them, get, get the authorization in place and get them funded. This bill doesn't give us a fair shot, and let me explain. Mr. Speaker, in, in the law today, it describes the criteria for how dollars are supposed to be handed out under various grant programs. The, the, the Secretary of Transportation came out and ignored all of that and invented his own new criteria for climate change, for racial equity, and for environmental justice. I don't have any problem with those objectives, but what in the world do they have to do with transportation? When we saw them applied for the first time, we saw a community of 30,000 people get a $92 million grant, and it doesn't have national significance as the law requires. In the, in the President's budget for the Corps of Engineers, there's language in there that says that they're going to fund projects that promote environmental justice in disadvantaged communities in line with Justice 40. They're going to, prom that they're going to fund projects that promote a chance to join a union, and that they're going to refuse to fund projects that that, that help to lower the cost of production of energy, lower the cost of consumption of energy, or that raises the revenue of energy producing companies. Mr. Speaker, this doesn't have anything to do with, with infrastructure. Why are they politically manipulating the dollars? As was noted, all the transit funds from these bills would, would fund almost seven billion rides with Lyft or Uber. Why are we dumping all this money into empty buses? We need to spend it on real infrastructure, real priorities, and a transparent, fair process. This bill, unfortunately, fails to achieve those objectives.